Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Olympus Sky Part 2 and um, yeah I hope you enjoyed this one because this one is really crazy like uh, like the image next to the previous video I hope you are watching it right now and uh, while we are here right now I would like to where the hell is it again um, there's a poll in the description just click yes or no and um, we'll see how that will go because it's just a question about live sessions uh, usually people don't watch part two that are not interested so the interested subscribers are watching this right now and the people that hate my hate anomalies just don't know just don't see it you know uh, you know how it goes won't watch part two so now we have uh, you the people you know um kind of uh, the core of people i would like to you to vote for this one so uh, link in the description and as always follow me on google plus you can click here on my on my page follow me there and the enhanced versions of this picture will be on google plus so let's let's jump into this and why am i so excited about particularly this 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 image is again we were talking about this little thing here hold on like i said in the previous video I just went out eating wasn't that smart but again here you can see that it it's it looks still like very artificial and I can see that it looks very very triangular so um, <clears throat> very interesting no idea how that could form you have some pieces of machinery and uh, you name it but I would first like to talk about these uh, little foundations that we are finding here um, here you have one for example it's a bit destroyed like uh, like usual but uh, it is nevertheless interesting uh, next to that thing uh, we found something like a sunken in little weird bent foundation as well so you kind of it's it's kind of see this it, it's actually it is interesting you can see that it goes down here and then it goes like this and then vaguely you can make this out and here we have a shadow in the back that also indicates a 90 degree angle at some point so uh, we have two interesting shapes here <coughs> that's for sure um i think and um, i was looking at this because of course i found one corner here. you can see that i've definitely over enhanced stitch just to uh pop, make the um, bigger lines pop out just a little bit better and you can see that this debris here is also aligned in one way and you can eventually see this and we have another corner here so directly up opposite of this corner you'll find another corner how convenient and here you can see another corner i haven't enhanced it yet might do that right now and see uh if you can see it a lot better then but uh, you know how it goes you can't uh, do magic and you can't do everything uh, you see it's starting to look really bad that's fine but um now it's kind of highlighted in a way so uh yeah um here's that weird little interesting rooftop kind of like weird rock and i haven't checked out if we can pull something out underneath there probably not no idea what this is or it could be or is it just a natural formation i'll just leave that to you but as you can see the debris is very interesting here <coughs> and particularly this one look at this um, i'll show you the original one here look at that thing and it's it's bizarre i mean look at it it's it's half of a circle with another circle behind it of some sort and it almost seems to bend in the middle so you have two circles on each side with a and it's bent in the middle so that's kind of weird and again what you usually see when you see these kind of circles is um very slight indications of kind of indents that are going around the edge i mean this could be just you know corrosion damage whatever you like to call it however this thing really sticks out to me and um another interesting feature that i found in this image is i don't know this it's kind of weird because it almost seems like I wasn't able to pull anything out of it unfortunately like this is a middle and then you have kind of some kind of coating going around it you know it could be coincidence like always but then let's look at another thing see and I hope you can see this but it's it's like another weird triangular weird shape and you can see like a 90 degree angle indent here 
<coughs> so more interesting debris. Um, at the end of the video, I'll talk about some experimental thing here. Um, it's, I'm not sure if that you'll see it then. But uh, might be like a Stonehenge circle here, but it is speculation since I need to investigate how or what this precisely works. So it might be a new thing here. I also found this in the back here. Uh, wait, before I go to the back, well, why not? I'll show you right now. Um, look at it. It's do I have to need to do I need to explain this? Um, look, look at that shape. It's crazy. It's almost shaped like a wing. And something is sticking out here in the middle, and you got this something is sticking out, and you got this weird box-like shape attached to this weird wing or whatever it looks like. It really looks like a wing. I mean, the shape at least here. Um, you can't throw it out that good with a mouse, and I still refuse to grab my graphical tablet for YouTube. Will just become a bit too messy as always, and it's messy enough. I thought that was something, but uh, no. <clears throat> so right, let's check out this thing. It's another thing that looks like a mechanical thing. It really does. And I'll zoom in just a bit more, maybe even enhance it just slightly here. And. I'll draw it out again for you as usual. You can see like almost like a cable coming out of it, which is crazy. But I'm not sure if that like that is like interference from the um, poor image quality. But uh, when you look at it, it it's it's weird. I mean, it doesn't seem to be like a normal rock or something like that. All the other rocks don't look like this. Well, some. But uh, you know what the hell? What is this actually? So on the cover here. So um see just a bit here maybe. It's it's I can already see that you won't pull out anything out of it, but I still wanted to check you out live on the channel, why not? Um this is fun for me too. And uh, I'll definitely continue doing that. So I hope you uh, enjoy this video because I think that I've covered basically almost everything here. There's a lot more interesting stuff. Um, I really find this rock here very interesting as well. And again, that 90 degree angle there, it is actually in there. And um, let's draw it out here. See? And then a bit curved there. Now it goes like that. And then you got this weird curve again. Another line curved like that. And um, you tell me what this is. Obviously, none of us can identify what we're looking at. Um, look, at some point, you just have to stop saying, look, it's natural. Because, uh, look, I've looked at thousands of images, and it's it's just stacking up. You can't ignore it anymore. And um, I'm really happy that more people are getting interested again in space and uh, Mars. And definitely Mars is like one of the coolest things ever in space. So, again, could this wait on, hold on there? Eh? So I'm just, I really think that there's something going on in terms of foundations in this image. But um, yeah, let me know uh, what you think about this one. Because I think that is again uh, like um, not a more proof of a uh, of an ancient civilization. Like, like definitely something existed there. And um, not everyone like was born and they immediately believed it. We all believe that, you know, um, NASA was right and there's nothing out there. But uh, it's, it's, you got to give it a chance. You got to think about it and go try uh, for yourself. Go look at it. And, um, you know, the first time when you open up an uh, image from Mars or uh, any other thing, you won't see anything because you're just not looking at it. You're just thinking, oh, it's just rocks. Now, when you watch my videos, you're, you can like follow me and listen to my commentary and why I see what I see. And um, yeah, I mean, you, you got to align the debris, you got to extrapolate uh, a bit here and there. And uh, it is important because you can see that Mars is indeed destroyed if these images are real. Because, you know, not everyone believes anymore that these images are real. Which I have, you know, I understand that completely. There, there's a lot, so many, so much stuff going on now. Um, there's so much distrust towards the government worldwide and um, you know everything is understandable no matter 
just 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 leave a comment there leave thumbs up leave a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you are not subscribed if you watch this part check out part one maybe um as well but i uh, personally think that this part is a lot more interesting than part one however you know again here very interesting but i wasn't able to make anything out of it out of it so yeah see you in the next video maybe i'll even make another video because um yeah, what I wanted to show you before I forget, <clears throat> I was going to show you at the end of the video, <clears throat> is I was experimenting, I was thinking, you know, and you can see all kinds of triangular rocks here, very interesting rocks here. You got this thing, you got this thing, so this is an interesting area. Now let's uh, let's grab the, um, the blur, because what it does, is especially in this mode, is... It really, what, what Blur does actually, especially it kind of connects, it kind of um, creates an overflow. That's the way I like to call it. And I have a pixel overflow. So right, so what we did here is, I know this looks absolutely rubbish. Now hold on here. Uh, what we now can see is actually that those rocks that we were looking at align, see, in a circle. And again, this is experimental, so take it with a grain of salt that's definitely true i mean um, I'm, I'm thinking about it maybe i'll use it more often to identify debris that is laying or spread in a pattern but we can't say immediately look it's it's a stonehenge circle whatever crazy stuff but uh, you could you could see that patterns will start to pop out and it's it's just a tip maybe uh, for the people that are interested in this um maybe it will help you out but i don't know like i said i'm still uh, checking out and um i found it by accident but it it should be viable but i just need to research it um so thank you very much as always enjoy your weekend and maybe a first video i'm not sure um i am particularly extremely excited today because i found something out but i'll leave that for the next video and um you'll hear about it soon enough basically um Everything I do here right now in terms of enhancing, you name it, um, I know that I'm right and I know how it works and everyone, but a lot of people still have problems with it. And uh, so now I have official quotations. I've been uh, legitimized um, in a way, but uh, you'll see that in the next video. We'll talk about that briefly. And uh, of course, always official links. And uh, yeah, that's it. So uh, thank you very much. Uh, enjoy your weekend and maybe see you in the next third video, but I'm not sure, like I said. Um, would like to um, have a break right now, but it depends. You know, I feel like making another video, so why not? But uh, if it's released today, I don't know. So anyway, see you in the next video.